1983, spring break in Fort Lauderdale. 1984, spring break in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> driving from Connecticut. Sounds like a theme. Damn. Yeah. And uh, I remember driving down the... Fort Lauderdale was the place to go for it still a is. decade or two. <sighs> is it not? Uh, I mean, it is. Everyone but goes to these swanky places now, but it was gritty. And I remember driving down the strip and there were like four girls in bikinis sitting on the hood of the Jeep. We were just cruising down the strip. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Dirt Drive. This is a uh, a lovely post-Father's Day episode with our soon-to-be Father Tom. Uh, when you say it, Father Tom, it sounds weird. <laughs> Father That's Tom? Weird. I don't like that. See a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then my dad, uh, Papa G, is here for oh, our for our Father's Day special. Well, if we're sticking with the Catholic thing, he can be Father Tom. I can be the Archangel Michael. Mark, oh, oh, wow. Archangel. Wow, if he doesn't say so himself. Yeah, what is the, so what is the Archangel little, Michael? Do you want to get Catholic like on us? the strongest angel out there. It's like the Thor of angels. Yes. The I, I, I thought you were going to I thought you were going to go with like Padre. No, that's nice. No, I'm not. Um, but the backstory uh, the backstory of my dad being here is uh, he is the original German area jeeper. I guess that'd oh, be No, I'm not. You're not. I guess to be Pop Pop? No. Uncle Rock. No, I guess Pop Pop had a uh, he was a, a Willie's. He had a uh M30 oh, M48. My uh, father? Yeah, if he was if he was a, a war vet, he would probably beat around in well, Korea. He drove, yeah, he drove a Willie. I mean, yeah. he drove yeah, the whatever the Willie's the M is a uh, MB. It's well, yeah, so the Willie's M MB, I forget what the number designation is. Yes, the Willie's MB is the original like design, but then they were like the M. Yeah, then you had the Ford variations uh, and all that stuff. What is it? So well, you're not because uh, it was MG and then it became a CJ, which was civilian Jeep. That's where CJ, that's what CJ yeah, yeah. stands for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Mark the had, M151 is what it was. was the first one. And from, then the M38. M30, I said he was. Yeah, he was end of World War II. He's a World War II vet and he was in Korea. So technically, technically, he's, he's the first German area okay. cheaper. He was behind the wheel for sure. Yeah. Private German area driving, yep. driving some stinking officer around somewhere. <laughs> but I didn't know take, take an incoming. Mark, Mark had a Jeep? Oh, for sure. Like he. Yeah, my, I would. Uh, you could. You could say Pop Pop was number one, but actually, Uncle Rock was. He bought a, a like in 1976 when he moved out to San Diego for uh, his second. He went to CWO Post on Long Island, and then for two years, and then he went to uh, finish his college at San Diego to be a ge geologist. He bought a uh, CJ five Bobtail, soft yellow with a black soft top. I remember 100 okay. percent had you know. The st standard tires on it, little little tire in the back. Oh, they're tiny. Yep. Yeah, Jer I passed yeah. one. Do you see the yellow, the yellow one that one, bobs yeah. that bobs around Loudoun County? Uh, there's a there's a yellow CJ5 that bobs around. The guy drives it to work every now and then, and yeah. they're yeah. so small. So he had it for like I, I love that Jeep. I've driven it like twice when I went to go visit him, and then he told a story about how he came over a ridge and got air and bent the front yeah. axle, and then they yeah, I can see that he didn't <laughs> classic Jeep story. Yeah, yeah. but he, you know he gave. He, I'm sure the dealer was like, oh, you, you'll never it'll never be right again. Where he probably could have drove the thing forever. Yeah, it's leaf springs and, yeah. and yeah. slap an axle. On so it he he was minutes. not mechanically inclined at all. Yeah. Um, but he was the first Jeeper. I actually built a scale model of that Jeep. I loved it so much. And that was the impetus for me to... What year was that? Do you know what year that was? Probably a 77. Oh, so it wasn't much sooner than... It had a 304 in it. Like, it was it was beast. You, yeah. got, you got yours, what, six years later then? I bought mine in the fall of 1982. So, five from, years uh, later. Huntington, Huntington, Long Island. Uh... So for ninety two hundred dollars and eighty two nine nine brand new, 9, and that was it was a uh, a renegade, which is the top of the line. Yep, it was. I think they had Laredos then with the the chrome grill. So the renegade, the renegade that. was uh, comparable to the Rubicon, and yeah. Laredo was the Sahara. Yep. So the renegade was the top of the line, and you Laredo. said it was ninety two hundred dollars. Yes, we we still have the sales receipt. 
Oh yeah, I got it some. I got it, it's up in the attic. That see now yeah. that's something cool to put in a frame and hang here in the studio yeah. one day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we uh, still know where the Jeep is mm-hmm. because we sold it because I blew it up too many times. Yeah, we couldn't get the transmission so, right. What did it have a five speed? Uh, yeah. A four speed with an overdrive. The yes, it did. 82 Straight six. 80, it was an 83 it was just uh oh what the hell was it It'd be like the T actually the number the, or something or the stamp the, on the block it was an 82 but the engine was manufactured in 82 yeah yeah but it was sold as, sold as an 83 yep um but yeah the story behind that is i got the the jeep was my first car i we we when i was a kid we put 33s and like damn near 8 inches of lift on it <laughs> mm-hmm. so then I, I got the car and I was working at NTB Merchants and I put 35s on it, never re-geared, never did anything to it and blew up the transmission four times in a row. And that was with the, uh, that, the tracks. that was with the Camaro project going on next to it. Mm-hmm. And the fourth time uh, we sold it to Evan for work on the Camaro. So it sits at our machine shop that we use for the shop. Oh, it does sit right there. It's, it's right yeah. there. It's in, it, it, he hasn't touched it since we sold it. Yeah. Not touched. So it's still in the same condition. It probably, um, probably pretty good shape. It, we had all the rust cut out of it. Had it, yeah. Uh, the body, yeah, he that was sealed up. He likes us enough. We we might be able to. You might be able to buy that back. Scrounge a deal. Just steal it. Why don't we repo Just, it? No, <laughs> no I, gar- I, I guarantee he no. hasn't switched the title. There's no way he switched yeah, the he title. Probably, switch probably the not. Title. Yeah, I mean, there's probably. a lot. There's a lo- there's a lot of cool shit sitting in his yard. Oh yeah. Can I go? Maybe if I go visit it, I'll be inspired to buy it back. I mean, we know a good. A, we know a good Jeep shop, and also I could I can, slap I can a transmission sell, and then no, sell just, them the money. <laughs> I, I like I said, knowing Evan, like and how go, busy that shop is, he like if he really hasn't touched it since you've dropped it off there. What and that was 10 in years 20, ago? 2017. Ten years? No, I don't know. It's Twenty. I bought my truck in twenty. It had to be pre seventeen because seventeen because I, I you met had, you. Yeah, yeah, we met in seventeen, and you had the truck at that. It was point. like it was like sixteen or seventeen when we got rid of it, though. So yeah, it still sits in that shop. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago. It was. Mm. Yeah. Well, I had it 30, 33 years. Mm-hmm. That was my that was my daily driver for fifteen years. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. I don't know how Mackenzie drives the JK two door because I think it rides like shit. Miserable <laughs> CJ seven on Leaf Springs. <laughs> Well, when I lived, when I moved to Florida after college, I didn't even all I had was a bikini top. I never put any top on it. Yeah, and I'd get caught in thunderstorms. It's in St. Petersburg. I get caught in thunderstorms all the time. Oh yeah, like I'd be coming home in my Coast Guard uniform, and I'd be sitting at traffic light just soaking wet. I'm like, oh. well, in Florida you can get away with that though because it rains for a half hour and then it's done. Yeah, but the humidity is like a thousand percent. Yeah, but you're moving, so you dry out a little quicker. And my little hat would get all bent out of shape and shit. My ribbons would get all jacked. Your officers would get mad at you. You look like shit showing up the next day with all your stuff bent. Yep, 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 yep. But, uh, my, one of my favorite pictures from my time with the Jeep is remember when I was working at the Giant and it was raining uh, and, the, yeah. and my manager let me park it under the cart corral. That was oh. hilarious. <laughs> Where I'm is like, that picture? That, it's that. on my phone. I got it somewhere. That is but yeah, crazy. it was it was raining. It was getting ready to rain. It was a big storm coming. I'm, I looked at my manager and I'm like, hey, I know... I don't know if it'll fit, but I don't have a top on the Jeep right now. Can I please park this under the car crown? They're like, uh, I guess if it fits. Guess and it did. That's and there awesome. was so many pit that like, that was when I was in high school. Yeah. When I was oh, a yeah. redneck Jeep guy. Yep. And there's so many people in school like the next day that showed me, why was your Jeep under here? <laughs> did you know it was raining? <laughs> yeah, right. Everything but the whip antenna that never fit anywhere. No. <laughs> I love the whip antenna. That was one thing so, I put yeah. back on. And it was like so, a 12 foot so, whip. I remember... This, this, I mean, it's not CJ story, but Trevor's old JK when he when we worked at Dent Wizard together. Yeah, the Dent Wizard party is at the Towson Marriott or Sheridan, whatever oh, it was, the- and he's driving through the parking garage the next morning, leaving, and you just hear, doink, 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 swear. Yeah. And Gary's like, what is that? I was like, it's Trevor's antenna. <laughs> and you look like above all the other cars and you can just see the antenna just doing, 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 yeah. as he's like going, just smacking everything. It was great. That, that, uh, that, ball mount for that whip antenna was like the first thing i put on the jeep when i bought it oh yeah and i put the right. that's very 80s when, when we oh, had the so uh cool. the paintwork done back in like did you actually talk to anybody on the cb yeah so my grandfather was a ham radio operator okay that whip antenna when, when i was old enough to get like a 
a CB license. Yeah. He helped me mount it on my house. So it was, oh, a, geez. it was on a pole on top, way up in the, you know, way up at the top of the house. And uh, that's where that antenna was until I bought the Jeep. And then I was like, I'm taking it down and I'm putting it on the Jeep. <laughs> and, and that, where is that antenna? It's either with the Jeep or it sold with the house in Ashburn. Oh, no, it didn't sell with the house in Ashburn. It it's might It's got to be with the Jeep. That That's a classic. I love that thing. You, yeah. I don't even think you can buy them anymore. Probably not. Yeah. It probably cause cancer now or something. That, that was the first thing that I put back on the Jeep. Because when we had the body work done in like the, the mid-10s, we had that, that, that hole filled from where yep. you drilled. So when I got the Jeep, first thing I did was put that put yeah, that back on. It's classic. Because I remember that from when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And it, would, it never went back on. Little tennis ball halfway down, that so it wouldn't bang, so it wouldn't bang on the top. Yeah, scratch this hard yep. top. Yep. 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 No, it was a classic. Yeah. So four wheeling around here, you know, I was just talking to Catherine, and I was like, "What's your memory for the Jeep?" And she remembers uh, going with the power lines on Sickland Road. Oh yeah. And getting all, I would go through these mud puddles that like must have had sewage in them, <laughs> uh, and then we'd get sideways and. She she scared her to death, but she scared her into Jeeps. So yeah. She's, oh, yeah. She's, she's got one now. She, now she's got one. Will's got one. You got one. You're the only German area that doesn't have a Jeep, I guess. I've no, got, mom has a Jeep, too, but she's not a German area anymore. I got three kids with a Jeep. I'm qualified. Three kids, two with two Jeeps. Yes. My title came in today. Hey. <laughs> I officially own the Jeep today. <laughs> oh, okay. Congratulations. Thank you. I need to submit it. I need to have money to take it to the DMV and actually get it under my name but yeah. i have the title yeah yeah, to, yeah. until i got to give it back <laughs> yeah so sicklin road we used to we'd go dirt biking and jeeping over by the verizon headquarters yep by quantum park mm -hmm. back back there back Which where they're building all the data centers that was now. Like another now it's 15 different data centers oh yeah that was such a great place to go with the dirt bikes well and the nice thing about that it was, it was never posted no, like we right. tried not to go to right, places right. that were posted because it's illegal if it's not posted it's technically not legal but it's not like it's yeah. only it's only it's only illegal if somebody tells you you can't go there. Yes, if it's not posted. Yeah, yeah. And then the other place was on Bowmead Circle. Yeah, that uh, the old RC plane was, was just a big pile of dirt, a couple big piles of dirt, you know. And it was great hills to climb. I don't know if you remember climbing those. Oh yeah, I remember that. They were just piles of dirt, like but yeah, they going, tall, going up and down. Like and there was the uh, fifty feet high, like, the RC. Uh, yeah, plane club RC plane that flew club. out of there. Yeah, it was yeah. so cool. That was back about back old Ashburn. I was that's over by Old Ox Brewery. Where that's, Old Ox Brewery is. That's like even pre me because I only know Bowmead Circle as data warehouses centers. and data centers. Yeah. yeah. The Old Dominion Brewery was back there then. And uh, yeah, we'd go four wheeling back That was there. before Old Dominion got bought out by Anheuser Busch. Didn't yeah. they get bought out by Anheuser Busch or something? Mm hmm. Yeah. They, and they moved it over, uh, I think, Germans bought it or something yeah. in Europe. But uh, yeah, those were three three great local locations that we just go you know, pound away at. Yeah, it's you know. where I it's where I cut my teeth four wheeling. Yeah. Everybody's got it. Oh, talking about cutting your teeth. Jeez. Remember we went remember we, I belong we belong to the uh hunt the, club in the, Suffolk. The Ro Roger Doe or whatever hunt yeah. club. Yeah. So I will I had Will driving the Jeep. <laughs> like he was like could couldn't even touch the pedals. Like I don't know how he was doing it. And Timmy was on a motorcycle and Timmy went off the road into a ditch and like just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> and I swore he was dead. I was like, oh my God, where did he go? Like, Warren's going to kill me. dropped out of sight. Yeah, I was like, oh, his mother's going to kill me if he's dead. And uh, it, you, were you were fine. But the literally just boop, brick shit house, like <laughs> six foot drop. So that's what happened. That's the proverbial well, drop many, in your head. Many things happen. <laughs> There's a few of those stories. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to have Will on for those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That mind. was the shooting. Uh, that was a hunt club where they ran dogs. And you shot deer with uh, shotguns. Mm -hmm. Buckshot. Yeah, buckshot, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. One of my favorite memories from, from that place was uh, the snowman. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. Did you forget about the snowman? Oh, that's I, that's that's for the ages. You're, you're probably better at telling that story than I am. Yeah, we had a great snow, right? And and we Down in Chesapeake. It was like... It was like Eight to twelve inches of snow in Chesapeake, so and that's like enough to shut shut down. Oh yeah, Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the snow was perfect. It was like the kind you roll and you just make. Oh yeah. Could ease, we made a snowman like in half hour. Like yeah, a big one. Like yeah. It was like eight feet tall. Nice. Well, eight feet, probably six feet. It felt like eight feet. I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything, <laughs> everything was taller when you were a kid. And uh, it was in a field, and we were driving around on the trail on the on the side roads, 
And then we got the idea, let's just destroy the snowman with the Jeep. And <laughs> that hit it going like 30 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. Nice. Will, Will, Will started crying. I remember hitting the body and the, and the, the head of it just came right at the windshield. <laughs> Exploded. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. That's a, that's a funny memory. All you guys there was just you and Will. I think it was just me and Will. Catherine would have been really upset. So <laughs> she would have been really upset. Yeah. So what what inspired you in the eighties to get a Jeep? Was it just Mark? Was it your brother had a cool Jeep? Yeah, brother had a cool Jeep. He was a geologist. He was like, Yeah, go out to the desert and look at rocks and shit. That's what we do. Minus yeah. the study part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we study we, how we're gonna get through them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we 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 look at them and then we drive over. But you know, I, I was I was thinking about this earlier. I know I wasn't supposed to prep, but you remember the old male Jeeps? Yeah. Yeah, the DJ. DJs. Yeah. Like I remember I remember being in like early high school going, I wanna buy one. I want that's gonna be my first Jeep. I'm gonna make it really badass. Like I wanted a Jeep so bad. Oh yeah. And I think part of the reason I went to the college I did is because it was, you know, paid for like through the Coast Guard. And I had, I knew if I went to college that way, I would have money for the Jeep. And the money I used for the Jeep to buy the Jeep <clears throat> was I got, I got $3,000 from Grandpa Germanario. Yep. Your great pop pop when he died back in 1969. And it sat in the bank and that was going to be used for college back then. You could actually pay for college with three grand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it grew. It grew from three grand to like 10 grand. And because I was at the Coast Guard Academy and I had the, I didn't need the money. Yeah, I bought that Jeep with cash. Nice from Grandpa Germanario. Nice. Yeah. So there was nothing. Technically, it was out of pocket, but nothing really out of pocket. Like you didn't have to. I didn't take a loan. Save out. your own money or do anything. It was no. it was money from when you were a kid. Well, I had to work at the Coast Guard. You know, that was yeah, it's a miserable tough, job. Tough duty. <laughs> but <laughs> had to be over six feet tall. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> you, you've got a. There's a, a nice male Jeep in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania on Facebook right now for $1,900. <laughs> Damn it, oh, yeah. Dom. What's it? What's it's a 76. It's a DJ5. It's right-hand drive, single seat, straight six. Yeah, they had, they had those yeah. things had some go, man. Oh, yeah. No, I think I think if we get another Jeep, we got to buy the CJ back. That's fair. Yeah. I'll give I you just, that. I just don't want to work on it. Like, <laughs> I'm done. You're retired. You're sim, semi semi retired old Tom's man. I've got to finish his basement for God's sake. Got I got open. way more things I got to finish before I finish this basement. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Couple project I, cars. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't have really the ambition to do that at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't either. Yeah. I have one day. One two three. If Mackenzie's listening, the JK is not a project. <laughs> but I've got three projects at home. I've got uh, three toys. Okay. So I don't have. I, I wish I had space for another one. And maybe one well, day I, I will. A, I got a job now, so I'll be able to put some more money back into the Camaro. That's so. not. Yeah, I'm Timmy's excited like, for that. Yes, yes. Finally. yes. <laughs> I've I've had my half of the head job for half of a head job. Well, yep. let's, let's unpack that a little bit. <laughs> what does that look like, Tim? Maybe, maybe if you pay for double the heads, you can get the Jeep back from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of head, you know. <laughs> Wrong podcast, Mike. Wrong oh, podcast. Okay, okay. <laughs> bulkhead. Yeah. That's what we bulkhead. Had. Bulkhead. What we got on the ship was bulkhead. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Large, got head and, got, large, got head and bulk. <laughs> large, large quantities of head is bulkhead. <laughs> so what was your um your first trip with the Jeep? Did you do you have like a like is it just around the academy is and beating around uh, the woods? We used to go to Waverly, Rhode Island to the sand pits and uh it was like do, big dune, sand dunes, um, just over the border of Connecticut and Rhode Island. I think it's I think it was called Waverly, and just bury it. We'd have fun with there's a bunch of trucks. Sounds kind of do what you guys would do, but it wasn't. Well, we don't bury our stuff. It wasn't rocks. It was sand and yeah. mud and Ugh. big. You know, it was fun. Sounds um, like the place around like Walshy and Bam Bam where they. Yeah, so I mean that's that's where I started my four wheeling, but yeah, it's swampy, swampy, I think sandy, most of those garbage. Places are probably it's all probably all illegal now. You know, they were probably uh, illegal back then. Yeah, you know, I'd be curious to know the place where we used to go were fire roads that accessed the safari park at Six Flags Great Adventure. Mm. Um, there were definitely parts of it that are now and probably were then illegal. Um, but the main entrance was just like a fire access road. Yeah. So it was cool because like you'd go in like you'd see like the giraffes and shit like 
walk along the fence line and then you like it's make like a left in the into the woods. Serengeti in, in Africa. Yeah. Just like Jurassic Park. Yeah. I remember like taking girls out like off roading and like you'd be like, yeah, we're going to see like bison and like wacky shit. And they're like, what in New Jersey? Yeah. Cause you wouldn't, <laughs> like, you wouldn't tell them where it was. Be like, I bet you $5. We'll see a giraffe today. And they're like, all right, you're on. And like five minutes into the drive, giraffe. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> were these particularly bright women or no? They were in a car with me, so probably not. Uh, <laughs> Nothing against you, any of my, my ex-girlfriends from, from high school. I'm just yeah. saying. And you've upgraded it a lot. You, you got lucky. Uh, Both of yeah. you guys got yeah. lucky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think all of us got lucky. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. life's going to change with, with fatherhood coming there. It'll Father, remind me. Father Tom. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I see. I see. Will and Christina are still in the. Will and Christina have the six month old now. Yeah, yeah. It's still fun because he's six months and he doesn't walk around yet. But yeah, yeah once the wheels got going, get going. Oh my god, it's so much work. Yeah, I was looking around the house. Like I, I assembled the stroller the other night, mm-hmm. and I was looking around. I'm like, oh fuck, there's your a lot. cheap stroller. Uh, no, no, like our real one. Okay, it's upstairs. That's just a wagon. Uh huh. Um, but I was just like, oh man, I got a lot to do to baby proof. Oh yeah, I got oh, you like, got you got time though. I got like tools like scattered across the house. I got a coffee table gun that can't be a coffee table gun anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah well, just little a, things. The year after he's born for that, he or she, he or she, you know? yeah, he. he. Oh nice, yeah, I have a little boy. Nice names yet? Tom Tommy the fourth. Tommy the fourth. Yep. Wow. What's the middle name? Guy Thomas Guy. Very good. Yeah. Doubting Thomas. That's another biblical reference. I don't get that one. Saint Thomas. Don't get that one. He was the doubter. He didn't. He didn't. I doubt, he doubted, I doubt you get that. <laughs> he, he doubted that Jesus was risen, so he put his fingers in the wound and like stuck him. Like, oh yeah, Jesus. Like, ah, oh, it hurts. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how it it's went. A nail hole. <laughs> Stop poking at my nail hole. Uh, and and if you guys like want to put in the comments below if the historical accuracy of that story. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So how did um. Jeep, or how did having kids on the topic of fatherhood change your your history with the Jeep? Hmm. Because we did did we get the Ford uh, CJs make great family vehicles. oh great family vehicles <laughs> <Yeah>. very safe. <laughs> Yeah, we, we had the, the single roll bar, right? It was, wasn't oh, the family roll, style roll bar it didn't have a roll cage. Yeah, the, 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 the YJs have. had the. Uh, no, the sport, the cage, and the the yeah. wages of the family cage. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that didn't, the family cage didn't really come around until like I think eighty nine or ninety. Yeah. was the first year. Yeah, that they even had it as the YJ option, where it was tied into the windshield. Yep. So I, you know, because I I was dumb enough to just suffer through driving a CJ seven around for <laughs> fifteen years. <laughs> Without air conditioning, like it didn't have air conditioning. You know that it didn't have air conditioning. Well, it's still no. it's still ruined me because I still don't use air conditioning today. Yeah, unless I'm talking on the phone, and I have the windows up. That's when the air conditioning is on. And as soon as the phone calls over, windows down, AC off, just because yeah. I like I love it so much because yeah. because of my yeah. I'm I'm a sunroof guy. I like I like having sunroofs yeah. open. Yeah. yeah, but the you know. Um, Blessings out to your mom. I mean, she and, and I, because I just drove the Jeep. She had she had whatever car she needed to take you guys and do your business. Whether it was the Ford, I think the Ford Explorer was Explorer, the first one. And then we started the minivan thing, and we had three of those. So she always had the car she needed to get around, and I would just use throw you guys in the Jeep. You know, like take you wherever you needed to go until I got tired of it, and then I and I kept it. But the first real car I bought was a Mazda six two six. It was had, that the first car? That's the first car I had. It was green. Wow, I it remember that car. Air I actually remember when we got that car. Yeah, it was used. This yeah. is me. I'm sucking it up. Like everything was about the Jeep. I was like, I, I'll get electric windows and air conditioning and for the kids. <laughs> and uh, I still traveled you guys in the Jeep, though. I'm sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, the Jeep got stolen because of me. Yes, you were asleep on my chest, uh, Christmas or New Year's Eve, I think. And uh, of course, I left the keys in it. And the doors unlocked, which I did all the time. And I was living in Mammoth <laughs> Beach, and and uh, it's it, 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 what do we put four pairs of headers on that thing over the years? Oh, I can't remember. We were yeah. under that thing all the time. Yeah. So yeah, the whenever it started, it was straight headers on. It was on, it glass uh, pack? Glass, wasn't it? No, it wasn't glass packs. It was uh, turbos, turbo mufflers. Yeah. 
we, we, we didn't we didn't we like didn't the, tur- we did not turbo no I, two. yeah yeah but like the like the thrush yeah the thrush turbos yeah so, okay like yeah, the glass packs yeah, yeah. glass packs yeah. pretty much glass packs well, they but they had like a full body they weren't cherry yeah. bombs they were they had an offset they were they were yeah, yeah. you know pie sh- you know like the I, yeah. oval shape not, yeah not, I, I, I know exactly which ones you're talking about yeah so but but we didn't I didn't collect them together there's two straight pipes back um, no I took the catalytic converter off so, because they were the 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 dual it had the two bank headers. Right. Yeah. So interesting. The guy that I attribute to saving that Jeep is a guy named Chuck Michelle who made uh, Admiral in the Coast Guard. Lived across the street. He had the orange one, right? No, 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 no. Different this guy? This is when I was a year, two, a year after I got out, right after I got out of college, I took it down to St. Petersburg and I had all this trouble with the carburetor because it had the needling device in it. It didn't have, it wasn't like adjustable carburetor, it had this needle thing. And it just never worked right. The, on the, the stock? There was a servo on it. It was a stock. Oh, one. you had one of the- Like an EPA garbage one. Yeah, you had one of the, the quote unquote computer controlled Carter BDs. Yeah, like for one of the first ones that came out. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they are super, to this day, they're super problematic. So my buddy who was a shipmate of mine, a year younger than me at the from the Coast Guard Academy, when he came down- <laughs> I dated his sister for a while. <laughs> Side note, she just like hot. any good friend, she was hot. She, unfortunately, she passed away young. Uh, either way, um, the story took a he's turn. A cor- <laughs> yeah, he, he had a core. Uh, yeah, he had a beautiful uh, like '67 Corvette. Like nice. and he was a real motorhead. Yeah, but he's super smart, like electrical engineer kind of guy. We took the, he took the Jeep over to his house one day, and we just tore every pollution control off it. Like yeah, everything. Yep. Threw headers on it, threw a 79 carburetor on it, and um, it ran like that forever. That's yeah. just exactly yeah. the way I set it up. That's yep. so the way it still sits now. He, d- he did all that. And I, I watched him and banged, uh, was with his sister while he was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's Chuck, a good friend. Uh, Chuck, I'm done. Are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> you finished quicker than he did on your Jeep, though. Six, oh, six seconds. Geez. More pumping than the carburetor ever did. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah, swapped a few carburetors out over the years. Probably four different sets of headers. Um, just I think that that's really the only structural thing. Never cam, you never cams or head or anything. But uh, and then when we moved to Ashburn, we did the uh, the leaf springs shackles. Mm-hmm. And the body body lift was done Pucks. when yeah the body lift no we did the. Body lift in Chesapeake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we put, uh, I didn't put, put two inch pucks under it. Yep, two inch pucks. So it wasn't horrible. Yeah, it, wasn't it was horrible, horrible, but it wasn't well, horrible. Yeah, I mean, no, on, a, on a CJ, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. But the the shackle lift was really good. The yeah. Extent the oh, yeah. Long, big shackles. And then yep. I kept the leaf springs a little bit, my two and a half inch lift yeah. on the springs, but didn't want, it, it would rode rough. So all together, it was probably like six, six inches. I thought it was eight by the time we did it all. What's two inches between friends? Some blocks and yeah, that's what well, you said. It was it was eight in ninety five when you put the two and a half inch springs on it, and then more. Well, I guess it was it was two and a half when you put the springs on. Then it settled back down to zero. Fair. Then you brought it back <laughs> up two <laughs> inches with shackles. Then it settled an inch, and then you brought it up another inch. <laughs> so a couple epic so trips. Net four. <laughs> uh, nineteen eighty three spring break in Fort Lauderdale. 1984, spring break in Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> driving from Connecticut. Sensing a theme. Damn. Yeah. And uh, I remember driving down the, Fort Lauderdale was the place to go for it still a is. decade or two. Uh, is it not? Now, I mean, it everyone, is. But everyone it's... goes to these swanky places now, but it was gritty. And I remember driving down the strip and there were like four girls in bikinis sitting on the hood of the Jeep. We were just cruising down the strip. It was hilarious. We had some good, good, good times down there. Almost died a few times with buddies driving it that <laughs> shouldn't have been driving it. Yeah. But my friend John Keppen, casual, he's, okay. he would go down to Florida with me and another guy, Jack Leonardi. Um, and then my, your, not your, I think Will's godfather, we took a trip out to the Tetons uh, while we were on three week break after, you know, in the summer during college, stopped at Pittsburgh. Chicago picked up a buddy with a motorcycle, drove to Madison, Wisconsin, then out to the Tetons and back. Um, this week, we'd like to thank our partner over at Rock Tricks Wheels. Rock Tricks has been independently manufacturing parts and accessories for the off road industry for well over 10 years. Rock Tricks offers the best high quality, high strength aluminum wheels for all your off road needs. 
You can use Dirt Drive, that's Dirt Drive, for 5% off your entire order on the website. You can find their website linked in today's show notes. Thank you, Rock Tricks, for supporting today's show, and thanks to all of our listeners for supporting companies that support us. Joints no longer functioning like they used to? Struggling to perform even in the lightest of loads? Do you fall short of expectations? You may be suffering from DD, drive shaft dysfunction. Call Adam's Drive Shaft to get your shaft fixed up right and back in the game, the off-road game. Their high-quality shafts and attention to detail is second to none. That's if you want a Woody. Call Adams or go online to use your discount code Dirt Drive for fifteen percent off your order. That's awesome. That's one of my dream trips is is <clears throat> road tripping with with a bike and rotating like four drivers. So like rotating driving to sleeping to bike to sleeping to driving. That's exactly. I think that'd be so much fun. I, exactly as much as I agree with you, I think at that point you just. Everybody just take a bike. Like, like, why? Yeah, but you got to bring all your junk with you, too. We're overlanders, Tom. So we had, we had, (laughs) then just take the car. Fair. So we had to, (laughs) my buddy and I, when we left Connecticut, we did not plan on picking up another person. But when my friend Doug, at the spur of the moment, quit his job, grabbed his, how do you find, so he, he had a Yamaha 650. So back in the 80s, how do you find out when you're on the road? That your buddy quit his job when you're when you're on a road trip to pick him up. Oh, we stopped at his house. He quit when we showed up. <laughs> oh, sh- oh, so he quit to go on the road trip. Correct. He okay. Said, All I got is a motorcycle, and we're like, well, I didn't. I'd never driven a motorcycle before, and uh, we. I learned, and and we would rotate between driving the jeep, sleeping. We had no took the back seat out, so we'd sleep in the back of the jeep. That's not a big place to sleep. No seat belts, no. and then one of us would ride the bike, and we would just drive till we drop. You know, stop. I remember sleeping like at a strip mall next to a dentist office <laughs> you can't do that now. and then we started camping yeah so yeah. Karen, karen will o- og will put you on facebook live and call the cops og overlanders oh funny story about that we pulled when my, we visited my brother in aurora colorado we got pulled over by the cops because someone had stolen a jeep oh naturally committed a crime and we were three white oh, it's like my cousin Vinny. Jeep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they called my brother on the, the two phone utes. to confirm our story like yeah <laughs> the two youths were driving a jeep <laughs> That's, that's exactly what happened. And, uh, yeah, it was like, we, didn't, we didn't do anything, you know. I, I can't imagine the click. I can't imagine there was a lot of jeeps rolling around. I mean, I no. I know they were new, but I can't imagine there was a no, ton rolling around no, like there are now. No, this no, it was, no, it's nothing because they were very now. very cool. Like it was way cooler than it is now. Yeah, yeah, they were. Not a luxury vehicle, but it was a luxury to have that vehicle. It wasn't like a like a daily driver right. like, it like, is now. like surfers, vets, guys that lived out in the middle of nowhere, and farmers were the only people that had Jeeps. Mm-hmm. And like that, the every hundredth per- person in the military, I assume. <sighs> they just I don't think they made a lot. I mean, it just they yeah. just weren't that available. Yeah, yeah it's, they I mean, weren't the rage. That's why Jeep as a brand went through like four different manufacturers in twenty years. Yeah, yeah. It was a- AMC was last time they made the AMC was eighty six. I yep. think. Yeah. Yeah, so it was and then an it was, AMC tanked, and yeah. then it was Chrysler. Then it was Dahmer Chrysler. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you want to talk about all the Chrysler, yeah, ownership, that's a different conversation. But like, you've got Willys that started it, mm-hmm. and they went under, became Willys. Kaiser. Yeah, okay. Kaiser Willys, which is where the Jeep brand started. Yep. Then Kaiser Willys gets bought. It becomes AMC. AMC gets bought because it goes into Chrysler. Then Chrysler gets bought. Now it's Fiat, right? Or Stel- well, Stellantis. Yeah. It, well, it, at one point it was Mercedes. I mean, your history. Yeah. Like the irony is the the G brand now is like the flagship brand for the original Chrysler. Yeah. Right. Like Chrysler barely exists as a company, but Jeep is thriving. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. My yeah. God, yeah. You know, in the seventies and eighties, it was it was the exact opposite. Jeeps were essentially the ATVs of the world. Like. Yeah, you yeah, got right. you got a Jeep because you wanted an ATV like like yeah. Car- Carrie's dad's Jeep. Oh his yeah, his dad bought because they built a hunting cabin up on top of their mountain, and getting to it, like he didn't want to walk it anymore, so he went out and bought a CJ five just to get up there. Basically, yeah, and like the thing like never left the property, like it's got like thirteen thousand original miles, mm. and it just. All it did was go up and down. It's got the the rifle racks in it, and just went up and down the mountain. That's awesome. So you 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 make me recall that one of the one of the other reasons we 
we both, my brother and I both like Jeeps is on the South Shore Long Island, Fire Island. Mm -hmm. There was a, there was only one spot where you could take Jeeps on the beach was called Democratic Point. And you had to have a permit. And I remember like, oh, I got my permit. I felt like I've arrived. Like I've got, I can take the guy. Jeep on the beach, you know? And, uh. That was fun. You're supposed to be fishing and I used to run it through tidal pools. There's a picture of me with it sitting in like two inches, two inches, two feet of salt water. Oof. And I would just go fly it through the salt water, you know, and it, that's why it rotted out like bad at first and then we fixed it. But um, that was the thing is to get a Jeep to go to the beach. And yeah. I think that was the Well, that, that, the pilgr- calling. And, that pilgrimage still exists because people, yeah. I mean, you have a customer that had a Jeep built to park it at his beach house in North Carolina. Yeah. I mean, 90, 90% of our customers, when I ask the question, are you going to take this off road? They go, well, I'll go to the beach. And that's like, that's, that's it. Like they, yeah. they bought a Jeep to go to the outer, when banks they go to the year. outer banks on vacation every year for a week, they can go drive up and down the sand. Like it's so back, yeah, back in the eight, like storm in, in Normandy. Yeah. Back in the eighties, when you want, when you wanted to take it on the beach, you could drive through the dunes. I mean, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was really, yeah, now cool. we have environmentalists. So yeah. And in fact, I remember that I've, I've only limited. been to OBX a couple of times with the Jeep. Remember we took, uh, I don't, I don't remember going we on. We took your grand, uh, pop pop and Papa. Okay. I've been out there. I had the Jeep on Ocracoke, Ocracoke, Oregon Inlet. And, um, to where we had the Jeep last time was Oregon Inlet. When we were down last year, Mackenzie drove her Jeep on the beach in Oregon last yeah, yeah, year. Yeah, there you go. I have to find those pictures. But story about oh, my OBX story is I was dating a gal from Washington and we took a, an overnighter down to OBX and I just took the back road somewhere and I ended up, you know where they, you know where they fly the kites? And yeah, yeah. These huge sand dunes. Somehow I ended up on this, the sand dune. Like, and if you, if you just went over, you just literally Oh, it's a, it's a face. Yeah, and I'd be flying this flyer, and I think it was like maybe I should stop before I go, over, you know, crest this hill. And I did. I looked down. I went, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Would have been like Doo! end over end. Yeah, and I don't know if I could be out there or not, but it was probably 1985, and I was just having fun. And nobody was stopping you. No, I didn't see anyone else out there. But yeah, it was when the world was a different place. I didn't get arrested yet. It makes me envious. Like I love the world we're in now. But but hearing and seeing, like four wheeling videos and and not not even videos because, I mean you were there weren't really videos but stories yeah like your your story, from, almost dropping the jeep off of a cliff oh, yeah. out west and then running up and down the uh, the lines back. The what? The the, the lines the <laughs> what's it called? The it's a narrow strip that goes up. Oh, fire, I called it. It was on a fire trail. Yeah, yeah, fire trail. But it's uh, it's out west, and it's in it's in like the Red Rocks. Like just like a like I just, can't remember the name of the trail. It's a famous trail. The, the, in, in like in Moab. Yeah, in Moab. Oh. Uh, a forerunner rolled down it in like the late nineties, and oh, mm. sure. Yeah, your your out west stories or something. Yeah, of my so favorite. on that trip when my buddy and I uh, and the motor, uh, my two buddies, motorcycle and jeep went. We were out in the Badlands, and we were just like, "Ah, let's go take this." Oh, it was in the Badlands, okay. Yeah, it was. It was. We were in. We were at Mount Rushmore, and then we we wanted to find a place to camp that was kind of off the grid. And we we're like, "Let's just take this road." And we just started hammering the jeep up the side of this mountain. I told you a story, and uh, we got to the point where there was like, the road was five feet wide, and it just dropped off both sides. It's like, okay, we're not going to go any further, <laughs> and uh, we. Uh, like, okay, we're going we're gonna to back down because you couldn't turn around. Oh, yeah. So we backed down about 10 feet into backing down. We got our signals crossed and the Jeep went sideways and <laughs> literally couldn't go front or back. And I was, dri- I was driving. My buddy was giving me bad signals, so I got crossed, crossed up. And uh, I get out and the one wheel was touching up. The, the, the back wheel was touching up into the body and the other one was like three feet. Oh, truck. so you were fully flexed out. Yeah, full yeah fully stuff. flexed out. And gas was pouring out of the gas tank. We were so steep. Oh, and you could literally That just, must be a German area thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do have a story like that. <laughs> yeah, you could take your finger and probably just rolled it down the mountain. <laughs> so we uh, we stopped. We had a case of Olympia beer, and we just probably drank about half of it. And said, okay, <laughs> let's figure out how to get out of this. And we had enough courage, and we just kind of jiggered it up till we got it straight again without going over either side, front or back. Yeah. And, 
backed it down, but it, that took three hours to get out of that without sending the sending it down the mountain. <laughs> so how how true were the stories? So when I was driving the Jeep, you told me, I look back on it, I know these stories are fake, but you told me that I couldn't take it off roading because the the um, the U bolt uh, plates on the leaf springs were too rusty. Was that just to keep me from off roading, or was that too? <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's. It was always like I couldn't take it out all the time. Yeah. I'm so tempted. Like, I love the stories of of the Jeep, and I, I love the CJ so much. I know I always talk about doing stuff, and this probably never happened. But I would love to to get it back. I just couldn't have the three projects I have now, and the one I'd be willing to get rid of would be the Cherokee. But I don't think I could do that because the Cherokee's in the spot that your truck is. It owes me nothing. Yeah, and it does everything I need it to. Yeah. But it's not. It's not the Jeep, like, as, as cheesy as it sounds, it's not the Jeep that I love, and it's not the Jeep that's, like, in my heart. I would love to, but I couldn't beat it. I couldn't yeah. beat it up in the woods. And Yeah, that would be I, the I'm, problem. I'm interested to see, I mean, you've seen our, our friend group evolve. You've been around with the mm-hmm. Dirt Nerds since day one. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to see where we go from here with all the babies and everything and see if we're still going to do the rock crawling stuff. I mean, the group has already thinned pretty dramatically. And I do recognize, like, the rock crawling gets harder. Like, as far as doing the trips, like, we're not going to yeah. do five, six big dogs a year. Yeah, we've got, However, I've got one more Cove trip plans this year, and that's this upcoming that, weekend. That's what motivates me to build bigger, better rock crawlers, because then we can do bigger, better trips. So the few trips a year will be bigger and better. Right. Yeah. We can get more out of it. Instead of just <laughs> doing the same park and the same trails five times a year for four days... We can go do one trip a year, and it's a good mm. quality. It's a new place. It's new people. We can do really cool, fun shit with it. Yeah. And then we have overlanders, essentially, for, for the, the five fun. times a year yeah. to hang yeah, out yeah. with the family, the friends, go out in the woods, have beers. Yeah. It's out. funny how that you say the group's thinned. You know, we've got all gotten wives and girlfriends, and now you got babies. It's, yeah. You know, that's, that's the thinning the herd well, happens that way. Yeah. I think the, the, the other side of it, too, is like... Well, it's the evolution. Yeah. Yeah. We, our, <laughs> evolution our, of man. Our group grew really fast. Like, it started out as five, six of us. And then it was... And then it was 15, 15. of us. Mm-hmm. And then it was five, six of us again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now we're down to, like, the core group is down to, like, three. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, yeah, it's fun. It's fun watching the evolution. How did... uh? Where am I going to go? I don't know. Well, you got any other good stories you want to tell? Well, Tom would appreciate this. You've no. been through the uh, George Washington, over the George Washington Bridge and the- uh, Going into in New DC? York? Going into New York. Oh, yeah. New York? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Going, there's a tunnel up there. The uh, Holland Tunnel? Lincoln Tunnel? Going to, like into Manhattan? No, no. Coming, uh, I guess it was just going across the bridge. But I was there's coming, I was bridges. driving from Florida to Connecticut. Yeah. And uh, I was- Taking the Jeep, you know, yeah. b- you know, badass through New York with no top on. And right, right. I went to, traffic was backing up. I think it was at the George Washington Bridge. And, that sounds about right. And I put the clutch in. Nothing. Oh. Like, oh. Nothing happened. And, <laughs> and I, so it was in gear and I knew that I didn't want to stop and get stuck in traffic broken down on, I think I was getting on the Cross Bronx Expressway. That's what I was doing. And um, I looked quickly, you know, quick look and I, and I just hammered the Jeep over crossed all lanes of traffic through like a traffic jam. It just worked out perfectly. And I went right into the maintenance yard with, for the bridge. Nice. And it, and then it rolled to a stop. Damn. And it stalled out because I couldn't take it out of gear. Right, right. And uh, it turns out that one of the bolts that holds the fulcrum on for yep. the clutch let That's, go. Yeah, the mechanical language that, that yeah, I fall with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're a nightmare. So I'm in there. I'm like, all right, how do I fix this? And I just found a sacrificial bolt somewhere else in the engine that wasn't necessary. And I put it in. Worked fine, and off I went again. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the benefit of the old ones, where like all the bolt sizes are yeah, the exact they're same. All, there's like three different bolts yeah. used on the whole Jeep. Yeah, that's funny. Now was, there's like fifty. Yeah, and they're all different thread pitches. It's stupid. Oh, yeah. yeah. So epic story, Timmy. Uh, a couple of things that we've shared that make me, you know, proud as a father. <laughs> was when he fixed his uh, big red truck on the on the side of the mountain. Oh yeah, it's a classic. That's classic. I'm sure you guys have see. It's funny. That's a proud moment for you when we bust his balls for constantly for it. Uh, hey, that was one of the quickest CV joints I've changed. <laughs> that was quick. It was amazing. And then you know, Jeep related, but 
when we took that, the Camaro apart. It got, actually got me that oh. that event actually got me a job because <laughs> Petrie was there. Uh, and Petrie was like, "Oh shit, this kid knows what he's doing." <laughs> yeah, and how'd that work out? <laughs> eh, I still like the guy. No, no, yeah, it's, it was that was more from a Petrie perspective than it was yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, fair. There you go. There you go. <laughs> he could have made better decisions, but yeah. that's all right. And, Give then, me a shot. and then repeat when we after, when we you took the Camaro apart, we had it all blasted and put it back together and. I, I don't know what you did, but you put it all back together and, and it ran. Started first time. It was yeah. Like, wow. Because I would have never would have never been old. Yeah, that. I'm really hoping that happens with the LS. I've got I I've really got to get cranking on that. I've got the whole um, gasket set. <clears throat> as soon as the heads go back on, it shouldn't need much more. I've got to run a fuel line and, and some other. Are you asking me for money? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> When we get that, off, when we get off the coffee, yeah, yeah, that'll be off air. When you get your signing <laughs> bonus, you can you can pay for that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that the the LS is the same way. I'm hoping it just fires right up. And with the with the help of our little shop gnome, he there should be go. able to to get it. He's cranking. pretty well versed in it these days. Yeah, I drove I drove our LS swap out to Evans to here and back to the shop yesterday. Nice. Oh, it's so nice. I need a grand wagon here with an LS in it now. <laughs> I think oh, everyone nice. does. Yeah. Um. The other thing that the three of us share is firefighting, and yeah. uh, I uh, I was thrilled, you know, that and, and Timmy Timmy's the only reason I made it through fire school because we went to fire school. <laughs> yeah, if if it hadn't been for him, you you know, come on, Dad, we got to go. I would have never gotten out of bed to go to fire school and pass that. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. A, that was a different point in my life when I had motivation. <laughs> I got motivation yeah. from the hours of nine to five now when I'm at work. Yeah. Then when I get home, I'm like, it's called being an adult. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then when it comes to this, I've got motivation when it comes to to doing the podcast. And then Tom, obviously, Tom's. Are you still fighting? Yeah. Still, yep. And got, we're actually sporting the same AP, shorts, AVFRD yep. shorts. So. Yep. Shout out Ashburn Volunteer Fire Department. So we, uh, the three of us, do that. But it was that's been a pleasure working working with you guys. Oh, yeah. Doing that, I, I miss it. I ran into some guy at the McDowell's Brew Kitchen. Oh, you know they they're not running twenty two anymore. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. So, he, anyways, he was he was That's a, a long older story, guy yeah. commiserating with me, but that was a great time. Really proud to have served with you, Tim, and gone through school with you. And and then Tom, your service continues. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah it was, that was that was a cool experience that not a lot of people get to do. Is is fire school with with your dad is is pretty special. Iron yeah. Mike, baby. Iron Mike. <laughs> not so much anymore, but I got the cool to prove it thanks to Catherine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. Taking a selfie. All right. How, how far are we? Uh, Forty-seven. We can wrap it up yeah. here. Yeah, it was a good episode. Yeah, solid. It was solid. Oh, we can't forget. We can't forget the song. Oh, the song, and then your favorite Jeep story. Your absolute favorite Jeep story that has to do with being a fireman and me being a kid. Oh my god! Have you heard the story? I don't know the fire uh, extinguisher story. Did you set the Jeep on fire? No, no, it was worse not than quite. That. No, it was not worse than that. Oh, is this when you set the extinguisher off inside your Jeep? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that was a good one. Was, I, don't, I, don't, I would I, think I was there for I, that. I, no, no, no. This was when I was a kid. Oh, because you did it in your XJ. You got to tell the story. Oh, he did it in his XJ. That would make sense. <laughs> was it you that actually set it off? I can't. I was too young. I just remember the story from you telling the story. Yeah, What's we this would, button do? We were coming back from a, a little fishing trip. I was hauling like a John boat behind the Jeep. It was Will, Timmy, and, and me. Early morning, you know, I tried to catch fish. That didn't work. And uh, <laughs> showing them how good a fisherman I am, and I suck at it. But anyways, we were coming back. It was just a short trip back to the house, and we're on this back road in Chesapeake down by the Dismal Swamp and just cruising along. What the pressing area? Where do you live? The Dismal Swamp. <laughs> all of a sudden, there's a whiteout. Like, I couldn't see anything. Like, <laughs> apparently, they I had the you know the cool fire extinguisher mounted on the roll bar. Oh, oh, it didn't start snowing. It's no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they they decided to pull the pin and pull the trigger. I don't think they knew what they were doing. They may have had it actually off the roll bar. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say if you ask Will, Tim did it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And if you ask me, I don't remember. So it was probably Will. <laughs> but it literally, it just obviously I, I pulled i had to pull over like i couldn't see anything like it covered the inside of the windshield everything was white <laughs> and i get out of that jeep and it was probably nine o'clock in the morning and i am fit to be tied like just pissed off cussing and i i pulled into this guy's yard you know some probably redneck and that guy came out and started yelling at me for yelling at my kids and oh my god i got mad at him too <laughs> 
<laughs> and he's going to call the police and like all this stuff and he's going to child abuse, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I just, I just, I just get in the Jeep, wipe the white, white off the windshield and drive away. I'm like, get in the back, you rotten kids. <laughs> it, was, it was just the, the biggest surprise ever was when that thing went off. I was like, how did that happen? That's fantastic. Yeah. The, the the wild thing for me is like that's a core memory, but I don't remember it. I just remember you telling the story so many times. Like I love I love that memory. I love the the snowman memory. Oh, that's that's, a, good that's a really good one. Um me holding when we did the the restoration. Yeah. In the driveway, me holding the tailgate over my head when I was taking it apart. <gasps> yep. That was a good one. <laughs> in 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 at, or not at, at in Chesapeake, I Pulled the tail. It was like one of the first things I took off, and I held it over my head. I was so proud. I was like eight years old. Um, you probably weighed as much as you did. No, I was a fat kid. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he oh, was. Yeah, or oh, did you also shop at the husky section of Sears? <laughs> yes. Oh, no, me too. I was. I was a husky too. I'm getting husky again. Thick boys off road. Runs deep. <laughs> Runs deep. <laughs> it's generational. Generational. Little Tommy's in for a treat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have to dig through some pictures from from those days. That was that was good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it's fun to look back. I didn't realize how much, like until now, I didn't realize how much. I thought you just got the cheap because it was like a just something to get, and it was it was be something cool to get. I didn't realize that you got it because you wanted the the cheap lifestyle of like cruising on the beach and like being the cool guy and all that stuff. Like mm-hmm. that hasn't changed, and our experiences are pretty similar Mm -hmm. from the first ownership of, of the same Jeep. Yeah. Like I'm, it's, Oh yeah. You, you had it in. Yeah. You, you thought you were badass. Oh, I I was the badass. You were badass. I was, I was the, the Ashburn redneck with the cool Jeep. And then you you rolled up. Still one of my favorite stories of our friendship. Oh yeah. I'm walking into Jimmy John's. Have you ever heard this story? No. So obviously meeting him at Ashburn, I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like Ashburn redneck, what an oxymoron. Like that doesn't exist. And like, I don't even know what we were doing, but we were, we, were, we were at the firehouse. Were we at the, we were somewhere. We were on duty, I think. Were we? Yeah. And we walk into Jimmy John's in Ashburn Village, and the kid working at Jimmy John's is like, yo, Tim, we went to high, and they're like doing the whole thing, and he calls the rest of the employees at Jimmy John's over, and he's like, this kid was the biggest redneck in our high school. He had a Jeep. It was badass. And I'm sitting there like, holy shit. <laughs> He really there was the redneck of Ashford. Yeah, like Dixie. not just all redneck, the redneck, Dixie we, Horn and all. We were that Jeep was in the uh, the homecoming parade, the homecoming parade along with the Camaro. We had the yep. You That's were driving excellent. the Jeep, and there were girls standing in the back. I took the back seat out, holding on the roll bar, and then some queen or king of the court was sitting in the back windshield of the Camaro. Yeah, because we had the glass out of the Camaro and the <clears> the king yeah. playing playing ACDC. And then I was right, <laughs> by, I was in the Jeep. I was right behind the marching band, and I had the Dixie Horn in the Jeep. Oh my god! And it that's funny. overshadowed it, you. It would drown out the marching band. So I hit the Dixie <laughs> horn, and you'd see the marching band moms turn around and be like, "What the fuck is this kid doing?" It was so great. So you, you also had a stars and bars. You, I you did. Flew. Didn't you take that to school one time? Yeah, I got in trouble for that. Um, <laughs> back in yeah, yeah, as you were still in Ashburn. Yeah, back in 2012, I got in trouble for flying stars and bars. Yeah, it's funny. your fault. It's your fault. We're all canceled. It is. Yeah. That's all right. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's good. But yeah, that the Jeep kind of really shaped who I turned out to be, whether for the better or not. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you're doing pretty um, good. Yeah, doing, you're, doing, you're doing all right. right. Got a career. Got a career now. I actually have a career. Yeah. Not just a job. That's pretty cool. So um, the, the song of the Jeep, and we I think we talked about this right at the beginning a little bit before we started, was Willy, Willy, Willy Won't. Go little, on. little Willy. Little Willy. I, I think I played 15 seconds of it. Here, yeah. let, me, let me find it. Oh, as long it. as you give them credit, we're not claiming it. I don't know. We'll own. find out. I don't think we're yeah. big enough for... <laughs> but my son, my oldest son... I, I, I hope this episode gets yeah. big enough to get... <laughs> <laughs> my Timmy's older brother, my son, is Will. And uh... Hold on. Darn, darn. That's all we got. I'm not. I'm not willing to get sued over that. <laughs> <laughs> Little Willie by Sweet. By Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks. This was a last minute thing. Um, happy I, Father's I saw, I, Day. I, yeah, happy yeah. Fa- yeah. Happy Father's Day to the new fathers, you and Trevor. Yep. And the old fathers, the all fathers, if you will. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, there's nothing. Your legacy, if, if you're blessed to have children, that's the best legacy you can have. Yeah. So. It's the hardest work you'll ever do. 
And, uh, Fuck. It doesn't. It doesn't end. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. At some point, you get to enjoy it, though. We're, oh, we're, we're we're in the fun years. If you're not enjoying it, then you're doing it wrong. It's not that it's True. unenjoyable. It's just hard. It, it yeah. takes, you know, unconditional love is what you pledge to your, you know, your wife. But <laughs> you have to do that with your kids. If you don't, you'll fu- you'll totally fuck them up. So yeah. True. When did you when did you start enjoying the company of your children? Was it like 8, 10, 12, No, 14? I always did. Always did. <laughs> well, well, no, no, like, you know what I'm asking. <laughs> when you were 30. Like, like when, did, when did you st- <laughs> like actually start having fun like, uh, with, I think with, their, only, with their personality? There was only and, a point when, they're, when you guys were launching and you rebounded that I would get frustrated. Launching and rebounded. So you trying to get you to be an adult. like Oh, so like late teens? Later than that, like, tw- you know, 20, 21. <laughs> Last week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Damn yeah. it. You know. No. <laughs> Get your shit together, Tim. No, it, it's, and it's, it's that, that last launch that I've, I've, I know too many people my age that have kids living in the basement that oh, yeah. they've made some bad choices. You know, the parents did and the kids did. And Jesus, that launch is the most important thing. You could yeah. be a freaking scholar at school and then screw it up when you're 21. It's adulting when they finally become an adult that's when, that's when the most fun starts that's yeah no no the fun happens all the time it's the scary part is getting that launch the, kicking them out yeah. yeah getting the launch as my dad said kick you're off the payroll yeah yeah, yeah but <laughs> no i mean every every stage of raising a child was awesome i don't, I don't i'm excited yeah it's not even if it's not then figure it out because you got to change your attitude you have to figure yeah. it out <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out one way or the other yeah exactly. and hopefully you know if you choose the right partner um, it'll be even more fun. Yeah. Know? I had a blast. Wouldn't do wouldn't do anything different. Not a there single thing. Would you do it again? <laughs> not in this life. <laughs> <laughs> too tired. Yeah, it's, it's too old for that. You got you got grandbabies now. You're I'll good. Watch you guys it's basically the same thing, yeah. I'll yeah. helicopter in. That's it. <laughs> I am not I, I don't I would not have the patience. Yeah. But I say that, but who is it just who just had Robert De Niro at 85 yeah. just had a kid yeah. with a 22-year-old? It's fucking wild. Yikes. Yeah. Oh, man. Funny. All right. Did you just answer? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. We're off the rails. Oh, man. All right. All right, Pops. You got anything you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, just to, to heart about you know raising kids and being a father. It's a full-time job. You, gotta, mm-hmm. you can't do it half-ass. If you do it half-ass, getting the launch is where it'll – all fall apart. You'll, yeah. you'll see the fruits. Your fruits will be screwed up. And, and you know, it's still a blessing. You know, you do it by the grace of God. That's the, the other thing too is whether you believe in God and however you want to believe, um, it's a lot of it's luck. So, yeah, hunker down. That's and- true for life. <laughs> exactly. exactly. For real. Yeah. yeah. Tom, you got anything before we get out of here? No. You want to plug the, the oh, website and the shirts uh, and stuff? Yeah, yeah, the usual, the dirtnerdsoffroad.com. Buy our shirt. Buy our shit, including a shirt. And stickers. I think and we got stickers. PJ has stickers coming out soon. Yeah, I got to figure out how to get those on the site. Uh, yeah, the I'm, usual I'm, socials. You know, I'm really proud of that whole Dirt Nerds brand. And, you know, your oh, Jersey Auto Works, I thought that was really cool. You know, yeah. being, being from New York, I'm like, who is this Who is this asshole? No. Nope. Um, and then getting to know you has been great. And, and rebranding, doing business as Dirt Nerds, I think that's cool as shit. And, you know, so it's been going well so far. Yeah, hopefully. We've been having fun with it. Yeah. It'll catch hold. I, I'm I'm an advocate. I can be a salesman. I'll I'll do it for free. Pro bono. Sold. Sold. <laughs> uh, if it's free, it's me. <laughs> you you want to get us podcast sponsors? That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um. All right, guys. You guys know where to find us. DirtNerdsOffRoad dot com. The Dirt Drive dirt, on the Dirt Instagram. Drive on in- Dirt Nerds Dirt on Job. Instagram. Where the hell yeah, are we? Yeah, yeah. Um. We yeah. are we are not Dirt Nerds Landscaping out of North Carolina. I've been seeing we, them a lot recently. Did, did we got a voicemail. <laughs> Did you really? We got a guy who called the shop and was like, oh, I just calling to see. I just moved into town looking to get my lawn serviced. If you could call me back. <laughs> and I, I told Trevor, I'm like, for good karma, we should probably call him back and let him know he's got the wrong dirt nerds. He might have a Jeep. Uh, it's a little far away. It's like <laughs> Southwest North Carolina. <laughs> it's like 12 hours from here. There you go. All right, guys. We appreciate you listening, and we will talk to you guys next week. Happy Father's Day to all of the... Yep. Happy Father's Day. Adios. Adios. Are you enjoying this podcast? Do you want more ridiculousness from the Dirt Nerds? 
check out dirtnerdsoffroad.com. It'll link to all of our social media as well as our YouTube page. And you can pick up some sweet merch to help support the podcast and other adventures.